Two Fish Talks. Hi everybody, welcome to Two Fish Talks. I'm Miss Brooke and this is my good friend Ruff. <laughs> We're here today to read with you from our favorite book, the Bible. Let's go. Saul preaches in Damascus. A believer named Ananias lived in Damascus. The Lord spoke to him one day. Ananias, the Lord said, Yes, Lord, Ananias answered. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street, the Lord said. Ask for Saul of Tarsus. He is praying now. I have shown him in a vision that you will come and help him again. You will do this by laying your hands on him. Ananias was afraid. Saul has done terrible things to the believers in Jerusalem, Ananias said. The high priest was, has sent him here to make trouble for all the believers in Damascus. Do what I say, the Lord told Ananias. I have chosen Saul to take my message to the Gentiles, the people who aren't Jewish. He will also preach a, to a king and to the Israelites, the people who are Jewish. He will suffer much for me. Ananias obeyed. He found Saul, who was still blind. So Ananias laid his hands on him. Brother Saul, he said, the Lord Jesus who spoke to you on the road has sent me to help you see again. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Suddenly Saul could see. He got up and was baptized. Then he ate and was strong again. For several days Saul, Saul stayed in Damascus with the believers. He preached in the synagogues. Jesus is truly the Son of God, the Messiah, he said. People couldn't believe it. Isn't this the man who came here to take Christians back to Jerusalem in chains, they asked? Saul became quite a powerful preacher. The Jewish religious leaders wanted to kill him. They watched the city gate so they could kill him as he left the city. So the believers put Saul in a large basket one night. They let him down the side of the city wall. Saul returned to Jerusalem. He tried to meet with the believers, but they were afraid of him. Then Barnabas told the apostles what had happened. So they accepted Saul, and he began to preach in Jerusalem. Some Jewish people who spoke Greek wanted to kill him. So the believers helped him escape. Saul went to his hometown of Tarsus. Then the church had peace for a while. The number of believers grew, and the people grew to be more like Jesus, too. Wow. We'll read more in our Bible tomorrow, okay? Bye.